the yes okay, like, i we can see not in the slide mode it is like a, the both the screens are visible the previous slide or the next slide okay please check now we can see the ppt uh, still yes it's the same mode okay yeah, let me know once you can see this is it okay yeah it is fine okay uh, shall we wait or shall we start yeah let us wait uh, maybe till 11 5 okay Still another hours. couple of minutes right yes yes Let us wait for uh, uh, two to three minutes. Sorry. Hello. Yeah, Nagaranda. Uh, let us wait for. Uh, five more minutes okay uh, accordingly because students are joining now the participants are getting increased so accordingly we can uh, i will introduce you and you can start from there sure Suguna Garu? Yes, sir, Shepandi. Yeah, and Venkat Mahart Narendi. Can you please give uh, co host to? Uh... Is your hand? So I can recap my mail. Suguna uh, Garu? Yeah, you can uh, okay. see APSSTC, no? you can please give him a co-host. APSSTC. APSSTC, okay. Currently, Nagendra, sir, uh, you are the host right now. Uh, will you please give a co-host to APSTC? Hello, Nagananda. Uh, as you are the host right now, mm -hmm. can you just uh, give the access to APSSDC as well as the co-host? One minute. Yeah, I have given. Please look in. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. 
Sir, can we start, uh, Venkat sir, or shall we wait for a couple of minutes? Yeah, yeah let's figure, can you uh, wait another five minutes? Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, Nagaranda, we will wait for five more minutes. Sure. Yes, I agree. Please go share your details in the chat box. Yeah, please follow up with the students and faculty. Background. Uh, anyone? Once again, I'm repeating to everyone. Please don't send any of your details in the chat box. Thank you. to start session. Sir Chandra, sir, good morning. Can we start the session? Very good morning, Venka. Okay. Yes. Can we start this session? Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Lakshmi Garu? Yes, sir. Yeah, you please go on, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, good morning, one and all. Again, uh, as like yesterday, we are continuing the session. Uh, uh, yesterday, we, we have completed on design, and today we are going to have a detailed discussions on uh, simulation, uh, what type of analysis, uh, where industries are seeking and the requirements are coming up. So Mr. Nagananda is uh, our uh, host today, a uh, speaker, uh, which I will quickly introduce him. He has started his career in the automotive component design and development, and he has uh, more than a decade of uh, experience and exposure in new product development and finite element analysis uh, and optimization. So currently in EDS, he is working closely with the customers and helping them approach, uh, helping them uh, the problem solving techniques using our uh, simulation, Simulia products. So uh, he has a vast experience in all types of uh, domains where kindly use his experience to have a quick uh, questions at the end of the session. You can put in the chat box, ask for your, uh, uh, you know, uh, detailed uh, discussions you would like to have it later but in one shot you can put up all the types of questions in the chat box at the end we can take it up and also thanks for giving us the opportunity to APHSDC uh, to have a orientation uh, on 3D experience similar for today. Over to you Mr. Nagananda. Thank you. Uh, good morning one and all. Uh, today in this session in the continuous uh, session, we are going to discuss on a product uh, which is on platform, that is uh, 3D experience, what we call, which helps uh, in coordinating with multiple uh, levels of uh, uh, within an organization as well as outside our organization. So going forward, uh, the customers today are more important for demanding enterprise wide. Uh, I think I request you all to go on mute. Am I audible? Yeah. Uh, going forward, uh, in, in today's customers uh, are more demanding in terms of uh, enterprise-wide as well as group-wide tools to enable the extended teams to build and execute the most complex simulations uh, as part of the high value and end-to-end uh, -end industrial process, industry process. 
So keeping this in mind and uh, using the what if scenarios, Deso has uh, come up with one particular product called a 3D experience uh, platform, where it is a, a experience platform, which is an enterprise level in business modules, where in which uh, we can coordinate and with collaborate with multiple departments within an organization, as well as vendors and vendors or suppliers or the customers outside the organization. And we can build the model, we can simulate the model, and we can view the results as well as we can put that on uh, manufacturing. Uh, it's like a first time approval process uh, in one go, where in which the models will get uh, uh, simulated as well as we can look in the results. And these results are also very light in light format. Say, for example, 3D XML, where uh, the customers can view the results uh, uh, within the organization, outside the organization, with even the uh, electronic gadgets like uh, telephone uh, or as well as uh, tablets. Uh, so here is the agenda of uh, today's discussion, where we are uh, looking and concentrating on Abacus 3D Experience, 3D Experience uh, 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 Academic Volume Package, 3D Experience for Education and Case Studies, and certain verticals like uh, transportation on mobility, life sciences, additive manufacturing, and one demo video on uh, how uh, the design and analysis of uh, uh, heavy machinery is being done using uh, 3D Experience Simulia platform. In the growing demand for analysis and utilizing that result in the manufacturing, and thus by reducing the time to manufacturing, as well as uh, re reducing the resources invested on prototype, uh, this has made or uh, increase the demand for 3D experience, especially uh, in academia, where the most of the advanced, which is a most advanced product and uh, innovation tool, which is now made available on premises as well as on cloud uh, for both the educators as well as the students who can involve in uh, innovations and learning that concept, which to make that uh, complex concept to reality and they can touch feel those uh, products and understand so that uh, they are ready or the workforce is uh, ready for the industry revolution 4.0. So apart from that 3D experience as we told, as we discussed uh, is a platform where in which it is having the multiple rules and apps in terms of Ketia, Simulia, Innovia, Delmia, so on. So these are all the products based upon the rules and the apps we can continue to use and find out the complete product life cycle management, starting from the inquiry till the final dispatch or what we can say that the final product of the component. So here in which the 3D experience the platform or on cloud, what we are discussing is having certain benefits like a plug and play startup where for example uh, if the cons this 3d platform uh, 3d experience platform is uh, being uh, purchased or procured it can be uh, downloaded and installed on the devices on the fly and uh, fully configured in uh, maybe in certain minutes or uh, within hours uh, especially in terms of uh, uh, cloud uh, management and uh, the maintenance is also very secure uh, simple and uh, it's available 24 bar 7 and uh, to keep the product up to date and uh, which also inc includes that the sub subscribers will be getting their data accept uh, access uh, at 24 bar 7 and also the servicing of this particular product so that the associativity with the previous and uh, uh, backward compatibility are uh, well and good in contact, especially in uh, Abacus and uh, uh, its allied products. And I also the simple access anywhere, like you can access anytime you can access where you have the results in the form of, uh, you can convert that into 3D XML format and you can view the results. Uh, as I was telling uh, in the 
lighter gadgets like your telephone, uh, mobile phone, or as well as uh, in your uh, tablets or to some extent on desktop, on uh, laptops. Going forward, uh, in this particular enriched academic uh, rules with uh, the latest cutting edge industry applications provides uh, to academic institutions to better prepare and workforce for the future. So here, which includes the additive manufacturing or uh, you have uh, other products and verticals like uh, uh, EV segment, electrical vehicle segment, which is uh, now uh, the talk in the town as well as uh, talk of the town as well as uh, uh, which is more essential going down uh, next uh, in couple of uh, years and also the governments uh, are across the world are uh, in the same arena where they want to minimize the carbon footprint so that uh, the natural resources can be uh, utilized to the best of uh, the human knowledge and uh, that being uh, converted into the uh, required uh, information or the mode of transport or communication. So apart from that, uh, we uh, in additive manufacturing, we can uh, look in uh, for the powder coated or uh, uh, if it is um, anything on uh, plastic material that is being used can also be uh, connected and uh, looked in. In the future slides, I'm going to explain and there is a video which we can view and understand the possibilities of additive manufacturing within this particular arena under uh, 3D experience, uh, 3D experience platform. So as uh, we are discussing, this particular uh, is a concept where you have rules, the rules pertaining to uh, modeling, design and modeling, simulation and analysis, and then digital manufacturing and uh, the robotics or so on. So here you have multiple uh, rules that are available, uh, maybe uh, different uh, rules that we are looking here as well, uh, if it is for academic, otherwise uh, it will be the role based uh, uh, embedded as well as token based for the corporate industries. So here we can look in and there are uh, number uh, nine academic rules aggregated in the soil systems commercial rules and their respective applications. So here where we have the platform uh, where in which you have a foundation by the name or the baseline and the industry innovation, which helps the application engineers uh, like for simulation value for product engineering and engineers and designers who need application focused solutions like uh, access the value of simulation on premises as well as and cloud engineering and uh, for the users and provide the uh, just what uh, you need to and the, the language that you speak. That means you use this particular uh, uh, platform in order to collaborate and uh, get the information, the way you speak and the way you work. And also, uh, which helps in simulate using the design geometry itself within a designer environment fully integrated with PLM and uh, CAD. Similarly, we have a next level that is 3D experience uh, essentials, uh, which will help us in understanding and giving a complete state of art physics uh, simulation technology, which helps in multi-physics and simulation capabilities delivering structures uh, with respect to certain different applications. And based on, we have different other verticals, which speaks about the design and uh, engineering, the system engineering, the advanced simulation, the marketing experience, the manufacturing and production, architectural, civil, and engineering. Similarly, the governance and the project management applications. So here we have a, a platform as uh, we are discussing the different uh, parts, uh, design and uh, uh, starting from design engineering till the uh, model that is being manufactured at different levels for the coordination and collaboration application and 3D experience essentials and at different uh, uh, modules, which also includes the uh, different size based on the memory acceptance and the number of seats that uh, it is being used. So here were one examples uh, that we can look forward uh, in 3D experience.
in the 3D experience for education. So here you have a simulation structure, like using the structural simulation app. So here where it is the model that is being taken from Abacus or from the CAD system to Abacus or what we call 3D experience simulia analysis uh, rules, wherein which that rule will be uh, given the other information, which includes the meshing, which includes the, uh, the loads, boundary conditions, which includes the material property, the contacts, constraints are being applied onto this to build that particular model to the market proven Abacus solver technologies. That is uh, the Abacus is being a world renowned uh, software, the simulation tool, which is being accepted and uh, by the uh, industry leaders across the verticals and across the globe. So here where I can uh, say that uh, these are all the concepts that what you have in mind are during the innovation that you want to build on CAD part and you want to collect the information from multiple modules or the multiple environments, as well as applying the loads. That load may be the uniaxial load or multi-axial uh, multi load or certain times a complex load. The, the mathematical formula of that may being very complex and the uh, particular testing recreation or uh, you can you can say that uh, the creation of those uh, and uh, setup uh, experimental setup is very complex so in those scenarios you can definitely use this particular abacus as a tool uh, by applying the multiple different levels of different types of loading conditions in different steps and you can get the visual you can visualize the results virtually using the tool so this is one uh, set where we have one of the rule called structural simulation within a 3D experience simulia app. So which also caters to you to the linear and nonlinear uh, material properties or any other uh, nonlinearities that can be captured in this. And also which caters you for the implicit and explicit type of analysis. Implicit in the sense you are uh, subjecting the particular component or an sub-assembly or an assembly uh, over a period of time onto certain loads. And during the, uh, during the process of that particular time, how the displacement or the stresses or the strains are developed within the component and how much should be the design stresses and how you are going to uh, develop that or design redesign that in order to adhere that to that particular loading condition operation loading condition over a period of time so apart from that the explicit analysis which is highly transient and in nature and uh, which happens uh, uh, with very fraction of seconds uh, so that the uh, the crash or the impact or the bird hit analysis will or a bomb blast analysis will take place and uh, you need to absorb that particular uh, uh, kinetic energy in that particular analysis and the stress line displacement and also the you want to capture the uh, value of that particular component so is this uh, one of the examples uh, uh, like um, the bucket analysis which is there on the left hand side uh, with from the jcbs or the escorts like you have the uh, earth moors so that component uh, video is there that we will discuss uh, at the end apart from that there are certain other rules so which enables the students to get accurate results or the answers without requiring any years of experience that means the concept that the students they learn or they uh, innovate uh, innovatively want to put that uh, uh, on into the analysis or creating their own model and putting that into the analysis analysis is possible uh, with a minimum amount of uh, knowledge as well as a continuous support from uh, uh, ours so it will be helpful for them to understand visualize and uh, virtually look into those products so here where you have a uh, analysis uh, for example a contact uh, is being applied whether it is a general contact or node to surface contact type of uh, nonlinear contact as well as they want to understand the normal engineering clearances in that and uh, how best the contact will work and the c press that is contact pressure is being uh, distributed over a period of time during the analysis as well as you can find out the graph of that particular analysis and find out like how the how best that you can understand the simulations or the innovations that you are doing as well as that it can be 
replicated and uh, uh, demonstrated to the other stakeholders, uh, maybe within an organization or outside an organization. Similarly, it also includes the flow simulation, not only structural, and even it is having a thermal analysis. Similarly, it is having the flow simulation uh, applications that it can be looked in. For example, here the Reynold uh, Average Navier Stokes RANS based uh, uh, tool it is, uh, where the solvers are uh, being from um, uh, Navier Stokes uh, uh, application. And also the internal and external flows can be calculated, even uh, the Newtonian, uh, Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids, uh, incompressible and both compressible and incompressible, uh, especially the steady state and transient, transient being the highly nonlinear and uh, uh, steady state uh, type of analysis and uh, supersonic type of analysis as well as transonic and conjugate heat transfer, not only the general uh, thermal uh, uh, heat transfer, which includes the conduction, convection and radiation. Apart from that, it is the conjunction um, heat transfer, conjugate heat transfer and multiple uh, reference frames, MRF um, uh, uh, type of analysis, like uh, even uh, with respect to the uh, for example, that you have a tank slosh, uh, the industries are uh, uh, required to do certain analysis, like one such is a uh, uh, tank slosh analysis, wherein which you have the baffles and the fuel tank is being filled and due to the uh, movement or certain degrees of tilt in the vehicle should not, uh, uh, the uh, complete uh, fuel should not uh, go at uh, rush at uh, one side of the particular uh, vehicle, uh, and this this definitely should not cause any imbalance. So, because in order to understand the uh, slashing of that particular uh, fluid inside the tank, so one uh, is that uh, we have to do the tank sloshing analysis. Similarly, uh, even in the washing machine, where you have the baffles and there will be rotation of the drum in order to uh, wash the clothes and how the liquid or the uh, water is uh, splashing at different levels at uh, speed and bec because of the at uh, different uh, uh, what you call the uh, weight of clothes. I mean, to say the number of clothes that is being uh, used uh, to wash at that particular time are also can be captured. And uh, similarly, a buoyancy effect, uh, for example, if there is any under uh, 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 subsea level uh, pipe laying uh, uh, work is going on and we need to check for the BNC of that particular uh, value. And even nowadays it is, uh, 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 one, uh, one such thing that we are looking is the floaters within the, uh, what you call a tank or a village pond or even on the sea uh, water surface. So these are uh, helpful in laying the, uh, what you call uh, solar panels in order to generate the energy on these type of floaters. These floaters will be made of a special plastic components wherein which it will be float according to the, uh, the wave movement of the water on the surface. And if there are anything, a high tide coming and hitting on the particular uh, floater, even that floater will not submerge. It will again float. Once it goes down, it will come up and again float onto the surface. So these type of uh, floater analysis where two types of uh, loading will be there. One is the internal pressure and another is uh, the uh, wave load, the water wave load and the pressure inside and above the water surface, it is the uh, wind energy. So these two type of uh, loads are being applied on those floaters and uh, the reactions of that uh, with respect to uh, the analysis and the design will be captured and uh, further design evaluation will be done. Similarly, automatic uh, meshing, which includes the fluid domain extraction and also automatic turbulence of uh, modern selection are all available in these features of flow simulation within Abacus, that is 3D experience simulation, simulator. And I have to uh, explain you to uh, take this opportunity to explain two such uh, examples here uh, where uh, the users, the students who have collaborated uh, with uh, multiple organizations, multiple universities in terms uh, one from France and another one, another university from Spain. And uh, they have worked in, on the rear and uh, front suspension development for a racer car. So this is one uh, such 
collaboration using 3D experience, and they could able to collaborate the designs that they have made and uh, that have been uh, uh, analyzed and then later has been adopted uh, in the one of the racing car. So like this, uh, multiple universities under one cloud can definitely be under one umbrella can definitely be collaborated and uh, they can exchange their ideas and uh, they can work uh, hand in hand. Similarly, another one pro particular project is called Green Turtle Project, wherein which there are a lot of trash that you can trash you can uh, see at the harbor level or in the seaport. So this particular uh, a robo type of uh, uh, one of the equipment uh, that has been manufactured uh, using the 3D experience platform for uh, uh, modeling, analysis, and manufacturing. And this, this will help us uh, in uh, collecting those, those trashes and then further uh, uh, discard that uh, at a uh, safe zone in order to keep the environment clean as well as uh, the uh, sea creatures especially if they consume it will be very toxic in uh, nature so this type of uh, uh, analysis has been also been done by one of the uh, project and uh, this uh, happens to be the 2020 project of the year on 3d experience uh, prize winner uh, project so this also included the XFlow on uh, platform for uh, fluid uh, analysis as well as structural analysis. And they have used CAD to develop the design. So coming to different verticals that we are looking here, uh, one such is uh, the automotive vertical that I'm uh, going to explain today. The projects are the innovations that is being done. Uh, and also we'll concentrate on uh, EV segments. So here where uh, we have one transportation and mobility sector, wherein which this uh, enters the entire transportation and mobility industry is now in a high phase where the revolutions are being happened, especially there is one phase where uh, uh, the EV are uh, slowly and uh, I mean to say aggressively, they have started uh, uh, pitching in, especially you, you might have seen a lot of uh, industries like startups in terms of uh, EV two-wheeler, three-wheeler and uh, four-wheelers are uh, happen to see a lot of R&Ds are uh, going on and uh, they're all uh, eager and more competitive in order to bring their new models and new variants and also to do the modifications in their earlier designs and uh, development so that their products are fast into the market in order to tap this uh, highly more potential market across the globe. And also the customers are demanding and new and customized uh, experiences uh, and uh, th that they are looking forward. And new companies and competitors are emerging at a rapid pace, like electric or uh, connected uh, automotive vehicles uh, are being uh, beginning uh, to enter the, this particular market as uh, we discussed. And in order to look in like how the complexities of uh, uh, analysis that need to be done when compared to the traditional uh, analysis that is being done in the actual OEMs uh, and tier one, tier two suppliers in the industrial sectors, whether it is uh, automotive sector in 2D, uh, I mean to say the two wheeler or three wheeler or um, four wheeler. So uh, how best that uh, EV concept can be adopted and can be brought into the market and development uh, phases are going on. Uh, any industry, an industry process approach in which the multi-scale, multidisciplinary simulation uh, powers discovery and innovations and optimization to get uh, to the market quickly is the one that is being happening. So here where you can see that uh, one of the concept that 3D, I'm representing that as a bike here, uh, which is a 2D uh, uh, two-wheeler uh, concept where you have multiple levels of simulation need to be done, starting from a concept, which is a particular part level or a simple assembly level or a sub-assembly or a system level or a complete vehicle level. So that type of uh, analysis is uh, going on. But starting from the a concept where you have a uh, a design and then the design uh, with respect to the structural analysis, the stress strain displacement and the vibrational analysis in order to find uh, uh, the 
the what you call the steadiness of that com particular component as well as the mode shapes in order to give the stiffness at the particular uh, phase uh, where which your planes where in which uh, the it is lagging if it, if you feel that if the design feels uh, uh, feels that there is a lag in the stiffness for that uh, vibrational analysis and psd analysis to take the road load data and up apply to that and to further check the stress strain displacement or structural analysis and again a thermal analysis wherein which you have the exhaust and you need to see the how best the uh, exhaust that can be uh, used utilized to uh, uh, so propel the uh, vehicle forward and also the engine system where you have the fins in order to radiate the excess of heat that is being generated and uh, as quick as possible to uh, siphon off all the particular heat that is there in the analysis and then the vehicle level analysis that is being done in especially also for the durability type of analysis where in which you want to predict the life of the component over a period of time because you see that the, there are certain different types of load and uh, loading conditions, especially the road load uh, conditions that you can see. And uh, to absorb those uh, PSTs, maybe which includes the low cycle fatigue or a high cycle uh, fatigue uh, loads that is being applied and also the materials that we are using, whether it is a traditional uh, steel component or uh, aluminum, or if it is a composite uh, level uh, components that is being applied here. And we need to check the uh, durability of those particular components components uh, and predict the life and uh, with respect to the factor of safety and FRF uh, analysis that being done so that uh, this particular analysis uh, will help us to find the crack initiation that is the failure occurrence at particular analysis, particular model, particular element and particular node. So the address of that particular crack that is initiated is well visible so that um, the life uh, extension of that analysis of that particular component can be done by the design as well as by shifting or moving the uh, the particular uh, stress concentration away from the region where it is uh, taking too much load. So a lot of uh, R&D works uh, can be done in order to extend the life of the particular component and also to understand the for this particular design, how much will be the life and uh, to predict that. So this is one another concept that it can be done. So similarly, you have aerodynamics design that is needed because the, the thrust from the air that we need to check also, uh, it should be aerodynamic in order to more effective of that particular vehicle uh, and also the uh, 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 what you call the um, petrol or the diesel uh, consumption if it is to, uh, to, uh, uh, two and three wheeler as well as uh, four wheeler uh, concepts. Similarly, the thermal management and the aerodynamics management, the airflow and the pressure velocity and the temperature with respect to time, those analysis need to be done with respect to the atmospheric pressure air that is being there so that the maneuvering of this vehicle in the high speed should not have any resistance of the air and thus wind uh, and thus uh, there should not be any drop in the mileage or uh, the concept should be equally good. Similarly, there is another one concept called uh, topology and topography. See, uh, in this particular uh, industry segment, whether uh, across the world and across the verticals, so uh, each and every vendor or the manufacturer will be under uh, tremendous pressure in order to maintain the uh, price of the raw material. So, for example, if you have a model or the material uh, uh, that you have to sign a PPAP or APQP with the industry leaders or industries. So it is very difficult uh, for you as a vendor in order to uh, supply the same design or the material over a period of next two to three years without any much change in your price, uh, even though there is a lot of fluctuation in the market, uh, in the material value, material price across the globe or global market. So in order to bring this concept, keeping in this uh, uh, in, the, uh, in mind, so you have one particular tool called TOSCA. TOSCA, which, do, uh, which does the uh, topology optimization, wherein which the concept of uh, uh, reducing the material and increasing the stiffness of the component does uh, uh, obeying the operational load and it is going to work uh, uh, 
and uh, give the whatever the result that it, it has to give over a period of time. So here the material removal process as well as increasing the stiffness of the component with respect to different designs and also the operational load, no compromise in, uh, uh, in especially uh, the load uh, operating load uh, taking cap capability of the comp particular component. So this increases the material uh, usage utilization effectively and also so that uh, the cost can be reduced, the profit can be increased and the yield instead of uh, preparing for about a, a particular uh, amount of uh, material, you can increase the number of products uh, and thus bringing the value to the customer, uh, value to the company. So there is this concept has been uh, now uh, more uh, um, effective in terms of industries. The reason why earlier the industries used to have CAD and then the CAE and now before going and testing uh, using uh, CAEs, they are using this particular TOSCA as uh, one of their uh, topology and topography analysis for one of the topo topology and topography. Similarly, topology uh, with respect to uh, removal of the material and increase the uh, stiffness of the component. Similarly, we have other concepts like, we have other concepts like uh, sh uh, sh uh, sheet metal component. Uh, uh, you have two or three uh, sheet metal components wherein which you want to reduce the uh, mass or the material and also increase the eigen frequency of the component or else you have something called uh, um, beads so you have the design on your concept uh, and there is uh, uh, the, the eigen frequency analysis that you are doing and somewhere you want to increase the stiffness of the component that is where you can add the stiffness in the form of beads so these concepts of topology and topography are also part of this particular uh, analysis wherein which you have to uh, take those roles and utilize that to the effective uh, if, uh, so that you can use the concept in this uh, going forward i have one small video that I would like to share here, uh, where the concept, uh, one minute. So here where, so Nagananda, can you increase the audio a little bit? Yes. over a lifetime of travel on even the worst roads. Simulia's chassis and suspension performance solution provides the tools to achieve all of this with fewer prototypes and a reduced time to market through design-driven simulation and virtual validation. With component optimization, you can use generative design to improve overall strength, stiffness, and durability of a system while continuing to reduce the weight. With the ability to model and analyze full subsystems and systems, you can be confident in the accuracy of the loading conditions and the results, leading to design and optimization decisions that are based on real world conditions. By accurately simulating the details of encounters with potholes, curves, and other road hazards, you can ensure that every well assembly and component on the vehicle is durable. By deploying end-to-end -end simulation processes for chassis and suspension performance, you will be able to solve complex industry challenges to enhance designs, reduce weight, and improve overall quality the first time around. All this leads to cars that are just as strong and durable while also reducing raw materials used, fuel consumed, and time to market. Yeah, that is one such uh, concept on the chassis and suspension where we can develop, uh, design and develop a component which is uh, uh, more effective and uh, it's durable and its design is also so effective that the material uh, 
requirement is as minimum as possible. So uh, coming to the next uh, segment is uh, life sciences. So keeping uh, in the mind that uh, there are certain uh, colleges and companies uh, who'd like to uh, use 3D experience. Uh, so they have the chance here in terms of medical equipment as well as uh, life sciences analysis. So keeping that in mind, this particular uh, few slides uh, will be discussed. And uh, similar to the engineering that what we have what we have looked in in aerospace and uh, uh, automotive uh, industries so there are certain uh, industries in terms of uh, you have the life sciences where there is a lot of innovations are going on especially in terms of um, uh, Med, uh, like uh, in med medical equipment uh, manufacturing, uh, uh, like stents, knee replacement, uh, hip replacement, um, okay, and pacemakers. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, there is certain uh, analysis uh, or the study going on in terms of uh, understanding the living heart concept as well as uh, lungs concept. Okay, if the, what will be the situation when there is a uh, uh, during this pandemic uh, that we have all seen that worst case that uh, the lungs are the one which is most uh, like most effect, uh, affected and then from thereafter there is a uh, it, it may leads to the catastrophe also so what will be the concept when the um, a human being who is whosoever is having a, a disease or a, uh, compare uh, to a healthy uh, person and uh, how the air intake, oxygen intake and the, uh, the uh, collection of the oxygen within the sacs in the uh, lungs takes place and also how he's going to breathe out, uh, what will be the pressure, velocity of the particular air and also the temperature uh, when he inhale or exhale. And what if uh, the same inhale and exhale of the uh, air uh, oxygen in a baby level to uh, different ages and to a, a human, well-built human uh, to a, a old person. And if it is a healthy person or a sick person. So they wanted to do the analysis uh, in terms want to understand the uh, concept of this using the 3D experience and this uh, uh, study from more than uh, three or four years uh, is continuously happening and uh, one such uh, evolution is the uh, human heart live uh, heart uh, analysis. So in this concept, the living heart concept where it is power uh, of cardiovascular innovations with the living heart on the 3D experience platform for life sciences and also understanding the baseline cardiac behavior with human heart simulation and uh, uh, interactively updated model parameters to study the disease state as well as um, uh, explore the treatment operations. Similarly, in order to evaluate the uh, and improve the cardiovascular devices like uh, stents, artificial um, valves, uh, <clears throat> pacemakers, et cetera, and also how it is going to work uh, in coordination with the human body. So, and also the access treatment uh, outcomes and also make more decisions by including the growth and uh, remodeling effect. So similarly, these concepts are being uh, used here. So here where you have a concept of uh, uh, human heart as well as uh, the uh, that being the un underst uh, understood and un uh, analyzed at different levels like uh, coronary stents or uh, heart valves or pacemaker leads like for example the reduce uh, device development uh, time and to and also the cost to improve the confidence uh, in uh, device uh, reliability as well as uh, accelerate the progress to virtual clinical trials and uh, move towards the personalized uh, that is customized solutions so here where uh, one particular uh, thing is the mitral uh, valves. So here where you have something called mitral wall uh, concept, uh, where in which uh, there is some uh, blood that leaks out uh, due to the hole in the heart or there is a miss malfunctioning of uh, uh, the certain valves uh, due to that. So in that scenario, there are certain rings that have been developed uh, uh, virtually using 3D experience uh, uh, living heart uh, concept and then that has been placed to understand and uh, being uh, successfully uh, uh, analyzed 
So here where the concept, you can see that particular ring has been analyzed and has been treated, used here, and to uh, treat that particular disease of um, mitral walls so that uh, the liquid, whatever that uh, blood was uh, oozing out uh, due to that has been like uh, stopped. And thus the functioning of that particular heart is again back to normal. So this one concept has been done utilizing the living heart concept. And there are certain other uh, uh, devices as well as uh, uh, medical devices and equipments that have been manufactured uh, to the requirement in the industry. Similarly, uh, this is the one like the flow simulation of untreated, untreated heart shows the leakage or uh, reduction from 85% to 15% and thus uh, the functionality of the heart is back to normal. Similarly, that uh, it also being used in, uh, you have NIMHANS in uh, uh, Bangalore, where they uh, do the research and development in terms of uh, human uh, brain structure and the analysis is, uh, studies are going on. So in one concept, uh, the human brain uh, is being, uh, the study has been done and how it is going to uh, get the neural electromagnetic waves in order to communicate from the brain to respective other organs and other parts of the body. So that study is being done. And also there is a wide set of uh, industries in terms of uh, medical equipment and life sciences are using abacus day in and day out and also for sophisticated uh, problems across the verticals across the globe. Uh, you can see such uh, logos are displayed on this in this particular slide. So their concept of uh, analyzing the medical equipments or even the life sciences, uh, anatomy of the body, human body in uh, using 3D experience uh, platform and 3D experience concept. Uh, I would like to take you to another uh, one such industry is additive manufacturing. So you know that additive manufacturing today is one of the growing uh, industry, especially in terms of uh, uh, product, manuf uh, product uh, uh, manufacturing for prototype, as well as uh, building. 3D printing is what the concept uh, that we regularly hear in listen in the market that uh, 3D printing of the component wherein which it is having a, its own complex design shape, microscopic or macroscopic, and also to give the uh, very good uh, value or the priority to the concept at the microstructure level. And also uh, at the styling of the particular component, especially, and also there are certain components where there are uh, uh, surface finish should be as fine as like mirror as possible, like especially in the aerospace as well as in the uh, medical equipment uh, where the operational uh, operation opens are even certain to some extent uh, certain uh, components that are uh, kept uh, are uh, placed in the human body like pacemaker or a knee replacement uh, similarly uh, so uh, like so on so here where the additive manufacturing researchers like you can see the part of uh, advanced simulation allows the users to conduct a physically realistic uh, process uh, based simulation of a part to be manufactured by 3D printing, which is powered by like whether it is polymeric or powder bed concept uh, and also direct energy dissip uh, dissip uh, dis uh, deposition manufacturing, wherein layer by layer the concept will be absorbed. And then that concept, uh, again, that there will be a um, whatever the concept that you have, the product will be manufactured based on that layered by layered, that centered powder will be utilized with a high temperature that model will be designed so that, that if you can test that for a different 
uh, loading condition in terms of temperature loading condition or, or structural loading condition or a combination of thermostructural uh, loading condition, then even implicit and explicit type of loading condition, it will be intact and which can be used uh, in the industry as well as in the medical equipment uh, industry or the uh, vertical. So uh, tomorrow, I think in the Delmia where uh, digital manufacturing process is there, maybe this will this concept will also be brought into your notice. So here where I have one small uh, example or uh, a video uh, for your uh, understanding. <coughs> Yeah, Naganda, can you just increase the audio? It's yeah. high. Audio is high. We are unable to hear. Uh, is it okay now? Yeah, a little bit fine for now. Okay, okay. Sorry. So that particular concept was showing you where the layer by layer sintering of powders. Thank you. Uh, going to another one particular module that is uh, the emerging and uh, maybe the need of the R is the electric vehicle and battery analysis and management. Uh, this concept is where you have the uh, batteries that will be used in the uh, two wheeler, three wheeler and four wheeler uh, uh, automotive uh, uh, parts as, as one of the uh, one to give the thrust to the uh, component or the motor to uh, propel that particular uh, uh, motors. So here where you have uh, cells, which are like you can say the modulars, cells, um, module pack and vehicles, where in which the battery material design is done with respect to the uh, anode and uh, cathode and certain other uh, ionic uh, informations that being done, that will be taken care in the another tool called a biovia. And then is the cell, this cell, the cylindrical cells, which are a concept of uh, having certain uh, watt and which will be a series or parallelly placed in one particular pack and those type of different packs will be interest in the uh, vehicles in order to give the energy for the motors to propel. And similarly, battery pack. So you can see that uh, these individual cylindrical uh, batteries are being used in the particular rows and columns within this particular pack. And these 
pack concept, either in terms of um, uh, thermal concepts or a structural analysis or an impact analysis are all required to do uh, in as one such uh, uh, process. And similarly, full vehicle uh, in integration, wherein this particular battery is being uh, brought into the uh, vehicle and then it will provide the energy for the motors. So here you also have a 1D simulation wherein which you understand the concept of uh, the model from one module to another module. Like for example, different uh, control systems that are available within the battery management and also in the EV segment, wherein which that uh, uh, can be demonstrated using the 1D concept and then it can be uh, scaled up by using Abacus. So here where the concent, uh, our concentration is on the cell uh, analysis, you have the cells wherein you have the electrochemical uh, performance uh, that is being uh, done inside and also physical design definition, whatever the uh, outer cover and the internal chemical composition that it is being uh, done. So you have another analysis that it can be done using the thermoelectrical analysis to find out the how the energy, the heat dissipation is happening within that and uh, the chargeability like how uh, quickly the batteries will get charged and how long that it can preserve the energy before the next charge and uh, during the go how long it can propel uh, yeah, propel the motor by providing the energy before it is being charged and then how the physical and mechanical as well as uh, thermal loads that it will absorb over a period of time during the travel okay uh, maybe, maybe it is a crash that is happening or it is the thermal dissipation conduction convection and radiation is being happened or it is the structural analysis uh, structural load that it is taking over a period of time or the durability of the particular battery pack. Okay, all these things will also comes into picture, especially the vibration when there is a vibration, how intact the battery pack and the battery cells within the pack and the thermal analysis is being done. So these widespread analysis need to be done on the single cell as well as multi cells within a battery pack and multiple packs within the a vehicle in order to find the uh, understand the concept of this particular EV for its uh, effective utilization uh, during the go on go. So like the strength and the stiffness and the durability of the concept and also the 3D uh, bending, three point bending type of uh, test analysis that need to be done can be uh, done. And also the safety of the component, okay? The fatigue and durability of the particular component and uh, the crack initiation on the battery pack and or else even on, on the, uh, the outside of the battery uh, uh, cylinders, uh, cell cylinders, how it is going to effectively work and the degradation and the aging of the batteries, how quick it has to be replaced so that the travel distance can be maintained or it can be increased and also the on the go, on the go when there is a sunlight and uh, if during the sunlight, if it can absorb that uh, sun and um, how it is going to re-energize itself or refill its battery, one concept and second concept like uh, how this thermal or the outside ex atmosphere will definitely cause uh, um, in influence onto the battery is also one concept that uh, the analysis can be done. So reduction reduced to ordered uh, modeling can also be taken care. So this is the one like analyzing the energy losses in the cells through the effect of thermal, electrical and mechanical loads and also the coupled field analysis with respect to thermal, electrical and structural displacement analysis. And by using uh, power by to enhance the 3D experience simulation with full abacus capabilities in terms of implicit and explicit analysis, thermal analysis, and linear perturbation analysis and durability analysis. So you have the stress, displacement, temperature, and then the potential. So the benefits includes the access, uh, access the structural integrity and the safety of the battery cells in virtual environment, and also cover uh, linear and non-linear behaviors, including the contact and the damage and minimum uh, modeling effort 
to resolve the multi physical uh, phenomena like electrical thermal or structural a single uh, solver or a co simulation type if you have this uh, cfd roles then you can utilize that also and analyze so here where uh, we have come to one segment where we have the um, demonstration a case study for this particular uh, uh, what you call the earth mover uh, you can say that uh, uh, GCB type of uh, where we have a video today uh, to demonstrate, which will demonstrate over a period of uh, time. And I'll uh, continuously explain that particular concept. And uh, then we will be open for uh, questionaries. So here where I have a video here. This is the dashboard. I think it is not having any uh, audio system here. I'll go to explain. This is the 3D experience. I'm sorry. Uh, 3D experience concept here. Uh, this is the dashboard. And once we enter the dashboard, we will be having uh, the CAD model from that particular uh, library. We need to take that uh, CAD model onto the uh, concept, uh, 3D experience concept dashboard. And then we are giving uh, the advanced uh, uh, information uh, to that to open the concept. So here where you have the bucket, that is the one which lifts the mud is the bucket and it is having the piston and uh, cylinder concept and also the hover uh, arm is there. Uh, if we can see my cursor movement, you can see the arm and here where the hinges are happening. And this is uh, just a minute. And this is the concept wherein which a tree structure is available and the toolbox for the tools are available. And here where the me and that is my role, these are all the roles and these are all the apps within that roles. So here in this concept, we are selecting the structural engineering role and we have the multiple apps inside that. So that will be activated so that we can take those features or roles from those apps uh, under that roles to do the respective analysis. So concept here is to uh, apply the load and also uh, to minimize the uh, parts here, like for example, we can use a, you use a hinge model here like as a connector so that it will do the hinge life uh, action so that the uh, movement of the bucket to and fro can be done so that it can lift certain amount of load. So again, the concept here is here at the Teeth, okay, here you have the jaw, right? In the jaw, how much load it can take? And once that mud or the rock or the uh, uh, matter has been taken into the buckets, then how total load of uh, that the thrust, the load that the bucket can absorb is what the concept is. So let us see uh, the model creation here and then simulation with respect to meshing and other processes and visualization of the result is the concept that we have here. Then it is the structural analysis that we are doing. We are selecting structural. Then we have, this is the physics, uh, the model that we have selected that uh, the name of that particular component. Okay, we need to give that particular. So it is the arm bucket uh, uh, information that we can uh, look in. That is the name of the project is uh, connected here, the loaded. So clicking OK, the, you have the complete model here. And then you have meshing concept that uh, finite element mesh need to be done either by going uh, individual parts or also you can go it with automatic uh, references. So here it is the automatic that is being taken. So the concept here is to select the mesh automatically. That means whatever the mesh that it is taking. Again, <coughs> the step that is step is, I would like to explain here. I'll give a, a, a halt here. See here, uh, this is the step module. Step module is the module which will help you to uh, give the command to the software that which type of analysis you are doing, whether it is linear perturbation analysis in terms of vibrational analysis is a linear perturbation analysis like PSTs, 
random response analysis, response spectrum analysis, mode shapes, okay? These set of uh, analysis will be linear perturbation analysis. Similarly, stress strain displacement, thermal analysis, linear, nonlinear type of concepts. So that comes under uh, one particular concept. And nonlinear in terms of material nonlinearity, boundary condition nonlinearity, or geometric nonlinearity will come into picture, which are all in the standard, uh, what we call. And abacus explicit is one where we have explicit type of analysis, transient analysis, a dynamic analysis, where you have a, a, a wheel um, uh, running on the road, where the uh, contact will change, keep on changing every fraction of second, or meshing of gears. Again, it's a different analysis. Similarly, you have uh, a blast analysis, okay, bomb blast analysis, how the occupants are safety, especially in terms of uh, vehicles, which are used in army and navy, like how best the uh, the base, like a vehicle, that what we call the channels beneath the uh, tankers, you know, the battle tankers, right? So within that, uh, maybe the occupants of uh, uh, 10 occupants will be there, including the driver, so that uh, when there is any landmine explosion happens, it should not harm the occupants. The occupant safety is a major concern. And what is the intensity of that blast and magnitude of that blast so that the stresses or strains are uh, fallen onto the uh, vehicle body or the vehicle structure so that that structure will absorb all the energy, uh, massive intensive energy, and it will not pass on to the occupants. So what should be the nomenclature of that particular material and the design of that uh, uh, specification of that particular uh, uh, part need to be done can be analyzed and understand. Similarly, you have impact analysis, like you have multiple OEMs uh, uh, vehicles, that is uh, uh, car, 2D, uh, sorry, uh, three-wheeler, four-wheeler, or uh, trucks and buses that need to be crashed when in terms of uh, front end impact or rear impact or so to some extent there is a rollover bus rollover or a vehicle rollover from certain height according to the uh, norms and the specifications so that that need to be uh, analyzed virtually as well as it has to be done once on certificate for the certification purpose so similarly you have um, uh, impact analysis for example the all the components maybe you have a uh, apple phone right that is also uh, a phone which is uh, fallen from certain height of say for example from a height of one meter like how that analysis uh, uh, what you call the functionality of that is intact even though it is falling from certain height and how the effect of temperature within the phone is needed to capture so all these type of analysis need to be done similarly in terms of uh, you have a um, packaging industry where, for example, Coke bottles are uh, transported from one uh, area to another area. And during that, you know that uh, highly compressed air uh, will be there within. So once you open the lid, suddenly the air gushes out. So if there is a uh, during the material handling, if it is fallen from certain height, how uh, best the material, the bottle, the plastic bottle can withstand that particular impact load before it is uh, being uh, the cap is being popped up and the liquid is being uh, gushed out. Okay, that type of analysis are all required and being done and there are all uh, customers who are using uh, uh, industry specific uh, 3D experience and uh, similia. Uh, concepts. So similarly, there are other uh, industries that we need to take in care. So here were the loading conditions, like a type of analysis that we are doing and the uh, concept that we have to give, the time step, the uh, number of uh, increments that we need to provide so that the analysis will complete over a period of time within that range is what the understanding is. So to continue the video, so you have the uh, given the values here, the step module is what we call, and then the connectors, connectors for providing the uh, connectors here, uh, connection between the parts. So here where the uh, concept is to use the hinge for giving the hinge value and here where it is the sliding, sliding concept has to be provided. Instead of the piston, you can use piston and cylinder, you can use a concept of 
using the the analysis that being need to be done what should be the uh, kinematics between the uh, cylinder and the piston that can be captured so here where the hinge will be used as one of the concept one of the part for giving the rotation hinge rotation to the bucket and arm okay so that uh, the motion uh, kinematics or the mbd that is multi body simulation uh, is been provided as a hinge concept between these two that is the arm and the bucket similarly sliding piston is provided for the concept of piston and cylinder so here were the list of the concepts that is being used uh, in terms of uh, the manager connection manager that we are enabling here which need to be participated in the analysis otherwise we can suppress those things okay provided the degrees of freedom for the movement so in a different view the concept of hinge has been applied now the restraints that is the constraints need to be applied where it is to be what should be the degrees of freedom in which angle it should be allowed in which uh, plane x y z translational or x y or uh, uh, rotational x y z or uh, translational x y z so that these are all called the frozen area wherein which this will not participate in any topology and topography otherwise the design space rest of the con contacts and the loading conditions constraints as well as the connectors and this boundary condition rest other regions are called design space and there we can use the concept of topology and topography so here where we need to select the region and to apply the load here the face is being selected where the stones or boulders or sand or soil the load will be applied <coughs> excuse so the creation of the coordinate system whether it is a, a rectangular coordinate system or cylindrical coordinate system so that coordinate system whether it is local or global and then the concept of applying the load in which direction the load has to be applied okay here it is changed to uh, negative as positive uh, z direction where the load will be applied because you know that uh, i need to give a uh, pause here the concept is uh, when we look the complete model as a whole it is in a different angle so in different angle uh, giving x y z for the global is not possible so we need to create one uh, local coordinate system that is the coordinate system you can see i am moving my cursor here and this is pertaining to this particular uh, bucket in one particular angle so that the concept of applying the load in z direction is fulfilled by uh, creating a coordinate system in the in particular uh, direction angle and uh, that is made as a local coordinate system and the loads will be applied in local coordinate system so then you can see that it was in an angle now it is uh, made the uh, loading will be done in that particular concept so then the meshing activity need to be done here the meshing so you have different elements different parts and each part will be meshed with different 
elements maybe certain location where you feel analysis is not much of uh, uh, importance and you can go ahead with the uh, tetrahedral and where you need the accurate results then you need to partition and create a hexahedral and there is a concept where you have a mid surface or uh, 2d elements so need to be incorporated like that at different levels maybe there are certain locations where you have 1d component okay so there is a manager that manager includes the uh, concepts like a list of uh, different types of um, uh, elements and the nodal history where the connectivity has happened can also be brought into the life so here where the mesh size the global element size is declared and then the mesh concept has been will be done so that the particular component will get meshed here where the bucket is meshed with 75.77 uh, element size and there are so many elements on the right hand side uh, elements and nodes that you can see in the list so similarly other parts whether it is in 1d or 2d or 3d meshes need to be done uh, done accordingly so you can see that the analysis will be starting the plots will be generated based upon the loads boundary conditions and the concept uh, has already been filled. So this is the plot in terms of understanding the total time versus the increments, like how many increments it requires. So the analysis has started, the, like there will be number of increments. See what all these increments says, this is a static analysis. That means a bucket is there, it is a deformable and certain loads are applied onto this. During the analysis, based on the uh, step information that we have provided, that step time and the initial increment, final increment like that. What does this do is it will collect, it will work as uh, based on the newton raphson method. In newton raphson method, the load concept, whatever that load you have applied will be uh, considered as a time, maybe one second. That means the total amount of load, magnitude of load that is being applied onto the on the component is what the complete uh, load is. If you say uh, the initial increment, what happens when the load is applied onto the uh, component, suddenly it will tends, the solver tends to take, this works on abacus solver. So the solver tends to take, accept entire load in one go that uh, it will not happen. The cutbacks will come like 1U, 2U, 3U, 4U, 5U, like that cutbacks will come. Once you have the cutbacks, then the analysis will not proceed. So what we need to give the initial increment, if not like a hundred percent load should not be applied. Let it apply in maybe uh, 0.1 or 10 times or maybe 100 load. That is, if it is 100 kg is the load, 100 Newton is the load, let us uh, apply 10, 10 Newtons uh, in one go. That is, each increment will get 10, 10 Newtons. Similarly, these increments are started building, like that it has started accepting the load and it is starting to analyze at different incremental level. So, Newton Raphson is also called as incremental iterative process. So one such process. So now the analysis is showing that there are increments are happening. Uh, hope I think there is a uh, question here. Uh, shall we take the question later or if you have, uh, okay, uh, Dr. B. Sudhir Kumar, sir, you can raise your hand. Uh, you have raised your hand. If you have any question. You can take the questions at the end. Sure, sure. We will take the questions at the end. Take it. Yeah. To continue, the load has been applied and you can see the concept of different frames. The frames in the sense, the what total load that you have applied over a period of time. Okay. And the increments has gone like maybe 100 increments or 1000 increments based upon the load and the type of loading and also the type of analysis we are doing. Okay, and this will give the 
frames frames at different time seconds that means here it is telling 1 second 0.1 second 0.2 seconds that is our point one times the load that is being applied okay we have to consider here in standard the time as load but point 0.2 seconds that is point 0.2 times of the load maybe 20 percent of the load what was the analysis so you'll get the result at different increments you can read the results at different increments and uh, each increment is a result history and when you come to the last increment the last increment will be the collection of result history starting from the first increment till the final increment okay that is what the frames on the right hand side you that you can see the 11th one oh yes, i mean to say the seventh one which is also saying that one second, the result for one second is being captured in that one. Yeah, to continue with, so you have the model concept and then, so the values of those information are being done. And now the concept, one minute, I'll uh, hold here. See, the design has been changed here. If I go back and again show you this, there is one design and based upon the results that it has been checked, okay, there is an intermediate design change accordingly. So you have the result that we will see at the end the result, uh, whatever we have. And here you can see that model, okay? There is some change in the model. You can see the bucket, bucket now will change. Okay, so where the mesh uh, information has been taken out and it may be meshed with a different mesh or different global element size that can be done. A permutation and combination until and unless you get a proper and best result. Okay, these are all concepts, engineering concepts that we need to feed. So the results uh, between the maximum and minimum value. So now it can be, okay, it has been horizontal and to view the results over a period of time, we can see that uh, wherever the less stress region and high stress region less stress will be at the blue color and high stress will be the red color. So you have, you can see that uh, results where in the hinge location, where you have more stresses as you lift the load. So again, so displacement results need to be captured. This is the displacement which is having in mm units, 6.76 mm at is the highest and zero at the end. You can also animate. I'll just go on a pause here. I'll go and pause here. You can animate and see the results based on the amount of load, the magnitude of the load. We are here the displacement that you can carve out. It is 6.76 is the maximum. 6.76 mm is the maximum and minimum most is zero or next above zero is 0 0.676. Okay, so this is the concept and here you have the 3D compass and if you click on this particular arrow, okay, that will give you the result. That means animation of this. Similarly, we can see the stress values also. This is the displacement result. Again, the one mesa stresses. You can see the one mesa stresses at the hinge location. It is 1e to the power of uh, uh, 8 is the maximum stress, the displacement. So this is the concept where the load and the hinges are being done. The 1 minus stresses in Newton meter square. We need to con uh, convert that into MPA. So then it will be realistic because the displacement was in mm. So this Newton is, uh, sorry, this stress is Newton per meter square. It should be Newton per mm square if we convert that and uh, it will be more realistic value for us. 
So either you can share this animation or the result in the 3D XML format so that that can be visualized by the top management okay, of the organization where they will not be having um, enough licenses or they don't want to use the engineering uh, uh, licenses. There you can see they will uh, use that as an image and they can use that for the uh, modification or the result analysis and also to showcase to the other counterparts. So again, finite element model. We have multiple other options here, which are all of different designs and design different components, assemblies. So you can, if you want to replace any particular design, for example, you have a bucket and you want to change that bucket with a different bucket in the same concept, of different variant in the same you can do. Earlier it was uh, A1, now it is B1, okay? Different bucket with different design is being applied. So now it is enabled in the analysis. You can further apply the same load or a different load, same mesh or a different mesh, according to the innovations that are required as a need of the hour to suit your industry standards at the enterprise level. So this is what the collaboration is. You have different models done at different variants done by different people and different groups and subgroups in the enterprise. So you are bringing, collaborating all the designs, all the concepts, starting from the inquiry till the final product, okay? At different departmental level. I can say that even your finance team also comes into picture because they are the one who can indent for the raw material and the vendors who have to create uh, certain parts for you, your uh, CAD designers, your, uh, uh, what do you call the CAE designers, okay, engineers, your manufacturing uh, team, shop floor, product, new product development, the materials, the quality department, the vendors, the customers themselves, Okay, the, for PPAP and KPQP approval, everyone will be in the same location. No need to go, go and do two and fro motions. Okay, here where we are seeing the another design concept, another uh, bucket, different uh, same um, loading condition and same set of uh, elements have been uh, enabled and analysis has also been done quicker and now the result analysis is going on. So here where you have the stresses and displacement, uh, please mind it is in Newton meters. Okay. It should be neat Newton per mm square stresses in any concept because we are following mm. We need to convert that. Okay. Here where the display. So one CAD engineer do the modification in design, which will reflect across the enterprise level, which includes vendors, suppliers, as well as customers. So no need to do reworks. There you have the concept, everything on the concept platform that is 3D experience platform. So you have a B1, the result uh, on the B1 bucket at the different uh, design concept. And you are using that, you are compare, you can compare the results. You can have multiple viewports and the result comparison with uh, respect to the stresses, one by stresses or displacement on two different viewports for A1 bucket and B2 bucket, B1 bucket can be done. See, this is the concept and you can see where exactly the stresses are happening and what uh, design uh, modification need to be done, whether it is capable of taking that load, what is its uh, concept in terms of uh, um, load carrying and the uh, fatigue and durability, life prediction, everything will comes into picture. Even Tosca in, for that matter, for weight reduction and increase the stability of the component, right? The stiffness had to be increased and the weight has to be decreased. This is what the concept is. Your CAD is there, is the concept where you have another model where in which you have a concept with different loading conditions. 
maybe the load concept now changes angular load and the magnitude of load is different you may add another load cases different load cases to this change the mesh change the uh, mesh type from hexahedral to hex tetrahedral or you want to change a uh, concept of uh, uh, the hinge concept again different motions to the bucket and its concepts uh, in the parts assemblies so lot many changes can be done and can be analyzed over a period of time you have the result and which can be comparable and in no time this will be popped up as a result at a different level for a engineers level it will be a odb for a managers level it will be a 3d xml or a, um, uh, you can see that as an animation a higher management level again a 3d xml uh, concept uh, image level 3d xml image level just to see the result and to approve that so that every approval process will be fast enough without any delay and the result whatever the concept that you have brought whatever the innovations that you have brought everything will be on a table and all the stakeholders will be updated immediately at the uh, with no data loss no time loss so that the manufacturing will not get hampered and the communication with the customer will not get hampered and any sudden modification need to be done can be immediately done and it can be manufactured virtually using delmia also a best in class utility for multiple people multi level enterprise level thus you have the concept of results and you can animate and you can view even though your uh, organ uh, customer will be out of your organization away from your country maybe in a different time lag they even they can also visualize the results uh, in one go so this is what the concept of 3d experience is and this is what the, what the concept of simulia within 3d experience concept Uh, this is what this is what I wanted to showcase to you, and uh, thank you, one and all, for giving me an opportunity, giving us an opportunity to demonstrate and present the concepts within 3D experience similia roles, and the forum is now open for questions. Please uh, ask the questions. Thank you, Nagaranda. So. Uh... So each and every one, uh, please uh, feel free to ask the questions. Uh, Mr. Nagananda will try to address uh, as much as uh, the possible uh, time what we have in you know, 15 minutes. You can post in the chat box. And also please uh, request uh, you to fill the feedback form before you leave. Can you post uh, questions in the chat box? Any question has come up? Nagananda, you told you some question has come up to you. Uh, somebody has raised a hand. Okay. Uh, one professor, a doctor has uh, uh, raised the hand, uh, but uh, uh, the question, uh, they can ask the question now. I don't see any uh, request. I want to go. I'm not seeing anything in the chat box. No, there is no question right now. Yeah. Uh, forum, please uh, uh, feel free to ask the question. Uh, I think uh, uh the host has to avail them the access to ask the question it seems yes if someone raised the hand uh, we can uh, unmute them please feel free to ask any type of question with respect to analysis because future uh, lot of r d resources are required in india with respect to research point of view and uh, with respect to new technology as we addressed yesterday and today everyone uh, is looking for the research oriented uh, freshers and research oriented experienced people in the market so you have to make sure that as a multidisciplinary not only design restriction we have to make all the uh, possibilities to have a multidisciplinary design plus analysis or design plus manufacturing or analysis plus manufacturing and so on. So you are the future endeavors, please uh, let us know. Yeah, Radha Devi, yeah. Yes. Yeah, can you please read out? 
Yeah, yes, she mentioned the Rad sir, but uh, maybe she is typing the question. Maybe you can unmute as you have the privilege to. I'm unable to unmute her. One minute. Okay. In one go, I have to unmute, right? No, no, no. Only Radha Devi, you can unmute. Can you show sheet metal forming analysis? That is the question. Yeah, we can do that. Sheet metal forming can also be done. Uh, necessary information will be passed on. Uh, as of now, I don't have any concept here uh, to showcase, but uh, that is one important thing because uh, you know that uh, sheet metal is one thing where uh, uh, multiple processes uh, in, uh, will be done, operations will be done onto that. And second thing is uh, anything where you want to reduce the material and uh, not in the uh, bigger way like how we do in topo topology, but the material has to be removed here in order to, uh, or it, it, it sometimes it, it has to be given certain stiffness, stiffness in order to uh, cope up with the uh, Eigen frequency of the component. That is second. Second thing is uh, this uh, analysis will be having uh, something called as uh, once you have formed one component, sheet metal component, there will be uh, a participation of explicit analysis and implicit analysis. Because once you punched or formed one component, it will go back to certain value or a original place that is called as spring back effect. So that need to be brought in, in brought into the concept that which includes the explicit analysis, wherein which you are applying the inertial loads onto the component, but in the die and punch, wherein which that mold will take place, a punch will take place, whatever the concept. And then it has to be the uh, additional extra uh, extra applied externally applied load that is external forces and the inertial forces have to be relieved so that the component or the concept will come back to a another uh, original almost to original shape where the spring back effect will be done so for this type of analysis again this concept of uh, exp uh, explicit and implicit need to be brought in in uh, what you call uh, a forming of a sheet metal component in a 3D experience platform. Hope I have answered your question. If you have any supplementary questions, please you can ask. I'll try to unmute you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, you can ask the question. I think you have unmute, you are unmuted. Hi, oh, yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, this is what I would like to ask about the drawing operation, sir. We'll have the drawn, like you will get, no? For yes. Yes. Uh, yes. They, the wrinkles are not really coming, no? Definitely, ma'am. To cope up, even the spring, effect, uh, spring back effect, what you told. Yes. So, I would like to analyze in those areas. How can okay. this uh, platform help us? Definitely. Uh, platform has that capability, which includes the uh, import analysis is what we call because it's the uh, combination of explicit and implicit uh, roles need to be taken care here, uh, especially in the drawing analysis where there should not be any foldings happen. So and also there should be uniform thickness of the component that you are manufacturing in the deep yes. drawing. So yes. if there are any concept where there is a imbalance or there is a non-uniform of thicknesses, then that is a drawback. And also the uh, the foldings uh, when there is a punching or a deep drawing is happening and if there are any punch happens that punch is the place from where the other uh, catastrophic effect can also happen. Okay, yes. so these are all the defects in order to avoid these defects and to manufacture the product at its best. 
So uh, 3D experience, uh, both implicit and explicit roles will definitely contribute a lot, ma'am. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, uh, you can further ask any questions. And one more question. Uh, yeah, please read out. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Dr. M. Kedar Malik, there are a variety of additive manufacturing processes like FDA, SLS, etc. Can we simulate all the processes? These processes use liquid, solid, and powder materials. Uh, FDM can be done in this one, uh, which is a powder centered, both uh, 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 metallic as well as polymer can be done and layup of this uh, in the hot tempered uh, uh, layers uh, with layers building mess method is also possible can be done i hope uh, it addresses the question sir shukedar sir please post if you are looking for any further additional question on top of that This is a great initiative by APSSDC, uh, which is uh, bringing the, in, the uh, educational institutes across the nook and corner of uh, Andhra Pradesh under one umbrella, so that each and everyone are collaborated and they can be uh, interactive uh, for a period of time. In, in anything in terms of innovation, in terms of learning, in terms of skill building, in terms of uh, preparing the workforce for the future uh, and so on. Yeah, there was one question. Yeah, I think uh, the question is satisfied, answer is satisfied to Mr. Kedar. Any other questions, sir? Or ma'am, or students? Yeah, students especially. You have any so ideas? You will be having, be having a lot of uh, doubts in your mind, what is the exact upcoming technology which needs to be learned from you to have a uh, you know, good job in the market where always uh, you will be having some doubt in your mind. So please get clarified. So this is the best uh, place where you can get all the answers. As Mr. Nagaranda showcased different types of analysis, he has just due to the time constraint, he restricted to the a few of the analysis for today's presentation. But if you see in all the domains, it can be even consumer packaged goods for the bottled analysis, you know, even uh, uh, multiple areas with respect to industrial equipment, or it can be as he showcased, uh, uh, even we have on aerospace point of view, a lot of analysis bird strike analysis everything can be done through this uh, 3d experience platform simulia so if you have respect to projects in your mind and if you have some uh, questions on top of that also please we are welcome to take this up yeah Radha Devi, ma'am again uh, one more question yeah, yeah. please read out yeah she's typing How to learn? Yeah, can you unmute uh, Nagaranda? One Same minute. Time. One minute. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, sir yeah. how to learn, sir. These are all modules sir. only through ADS technologies, sir, course payment. Yes, uh, so that is what yesterday I clearly mm, mentioned. Oh, yes, uh, sir, you told. Mm. Suppose, suppose if you are feeling that some of, some of the respective modules you would like to learn, yes, sir. you can uh, request APSSDC that these are the modules you would like to learn from it uh, for our uh, research point of view or the student uh, upskilling point of view. Oh, yes, so sir. that we will correlate all the courses 
and okay. we will put up as an online live trainings so that according as you are have already having the software yes, the sir, thing yes, is sir. you should have the technology oriented uh, trainings yes sir so expertise technology, sir. yeah expertise point of view yeah we have that expertise we are working with different industries on the live projects even uh, yes, all the defense projects which we are working mr nagarananda and uh, we have other uh, few team members as well on dedicated uh, simlia Uh, across mm-hmm. pan india anyone can support you on that particular uh, uh, requirements we will try to freeze that all the requirements and put up as an online live trainings so you don't think on the commercial aspect everywhere wherever you see if you want some technology definitely definitely some uh, commercial value has to be put up but oh, that yes, small sir. value will make uh, a picture uh, really big mm-hmm. in the future so that small value you don't think that uh, e learning whatever the value we have given is a freezed value if we get some bulk uh, number of uh, requirements we can uh, work with apsdc uh, through live trainings it's like a three okay. months program we can make it on similia respect to one month and katia respect to one month and delmi respect to one month that is what even uh, we met uh, directly apsdc executive director sir and uh, he suggested this all the points why can't we uh, make an orientation program along with the general manager uh, 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 bharati ma'am as well that let us do it so that let us understand the requirements from the entire colleges and let us freeze the model of how we can take the things forward so for you only we are doing this please make okay. utilize and uh, please uh, try to gather all the requirements from all the colleges and submit to apsdc even we are expecting the feedback within the feedback form that what you require but uh, yesterday's feedback everyone is satisfied but they are asked, they are not asked what they require exactly so okay. that is where uh, okay. yeah so that is where we require uh, uh, to take the things as we would like to explore our internal uh, competency what we have by making you as a comfortable factor on the upskilling front across ap because the challenge is generally software but you are already having the software there is no challenge only the skilling is the factor yes sir skilling is required yeah that skilling also skilling wherever wherever we are you can get upskill nowadays uh, after yes. the covid has come it doesn't mm-hmm. mean that we have to come over uh, to you and uh, dedicatedly train the faculty or uh, students through yes, online yes. we have made it as an online uh, model online live training so that uh, every student can uh, get skilled by themselves yes sir just only the thing is forget about the commercials you ask the requirement automatically it will come to you without no, asking yes, the requirement uh, it will not uh, mm. make no, it actually i would like to learn yes that's what i am asking any courses like that will be there Has yeah it, we have yesterday i have shown mm. yesterday i have the shown courses you have shown sir mm. yeah next month again mm. uh, from january 1st onwards maybe in couple of days if you go the same link uh, okay. you will get the complete schedule of uh, january month okay as monthly so wise yeah. Mm. yeah as per your availability you can uh, attend which course you would like to have it but only the challenge is it's a paid course but if ah. it is going through apsdc definitely mm. you will get benefit yes already i informed your students also about so the presentations yesterday learn yes. i pass the information let me <laughs> sure ma'am yes. okay sir thank you sir thank you thank you ma'am So any other questions how can we conclude venkat sir can we conclude or uh, it was yeah, anybody from apsdc can we conclude uh, and end the session hello you can conclude sir yeah thank you so thank you mr nagarananda and thanks to enter apsc this team uh, for giving us the opportunity hope you enjoyed the session and uh, the basic insights what you are looking for on the simulation uh, hope it has been addressed and let us connect tomorrow on the manufacturing perspective which is on delmia 3d experience digital enterprise lean manufacturing interactive application uh, for speaker is uh, mr aditya dubey from north and uh, we will connect tomorrow at 11 am thank you so much thank you all yeah thank you all thanks for giving us an opportunity
to give you an exposure on uh, Simulia as 3D experience platform. And tomorrow again, please uh, 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 avail the information from our uh, colleague uh, on Delmia. Thank you. Yeah, please for, don't forget to fill the feedback forms. That is the attendance marking by APCTC. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.